just 19 years of this event. Looking at 10 straight for Chevrolet here at this track. That was the next one. And Jimmy Johnson, who grew up in Southern California, said Rick Mears was one of his idols. One of the people he looked up to most. Coming to the white flag, almost six seconds on the 18th. The story there from the spotter down to Jimmy. As indeed he comes down the front straightaway and sees the white flag. Final lap is underway for the leader in Indianapolis. Such a tremendous feeling to know that you and your team have put it all together. You show up for the big races, you know you have one chance a year to get it all done, Andy, and this team is there. They've executed well all day long. It's paying off here on this last lap. One thing I love about Jimmy Johnson, though, is it never gets old. It'll be just like he won his first Brickyard race. Johnson said you come through the tunnel and history starts talking to you, and he's so happy to have had three special moments for himself at this track. Said, I hope to have a fourth. His hero, Rick Mears, won the Indianapolis 500 four times. They've got something to talk about. As Johnson clears the final corner and the checkered flag is in the air. A fourth win in the Brickyard 400 to Jimmy Johnson. A 4.7 second margin of victory over Kyle Busch. You see the cars as they come across the finish line at the top of your screen. <laughs> Including <laughs> a tight squeeze. I'll let you call that one. Between Alvarola and Smith for 18. 